The Congress has got to stand up. Let's bring in James Garofano, senior fellow at the Heritage Foundation. First of all, what do you think? Uh, do you think the current system works? Of course it doesn't work. Human traffickers have gained the system. They figured out that you bundle people as a family, you bring them to the border, you get in, and they abscond. Uh, you know, essentially in the Obama years, the president basically put out a welcome sign. He was basically coaching human traffickers on how to bring people here. So people are literally gaming the system. Look, I've had analysts at the caravan. Most of these people aren't even economic migrants. They're just people that think if they get here, they can get a better job. The vast majority of these people will not qualify for an asylum claim. Why would the Mexican government say there is a tentative deal on the table only to deny it all the next day? What do you think is going on? Well, look, the, the, there's, this government is outgoing. The deal would be with the incoming government. Yeah, and the, that's the, who's yeah, denying it, yeah, the incoming the inco government. And they cannot make a deal before they're a government. I mean, they just can't. So, the, of course, they can't say, oh, yeah, we made a deal, because legally they just cannot do that. The incoming government has every reason to want to cooperate with the United States. First of all, when you shut down border crossings, that really tees Mexicans off. People come over, they work here, it's a problem for them. And they don't blame Trump, they blame the migrants. And if this migrant convoy works, there'll be more and more and more. And that's just as big a problem, if not a bigger problem for Mexico, than it's the United States. You can better believe that the incoming administration, they don't want this to become a recurring thing. So then, uh, you know, the president tweeting that it would be smart for Mexico to do its part to hold asylum seekers on the Mexican side of the border, you know, until they're already processed uh, here in the U.S. So you think that this is a pretty good arrangement, or do you? And, and you've, no, you just I, laid out what you think it's what's in it for Mexico, particularly it, President-elect Obrador. Yeah, I, I think I think eventually the Mexicans will make a deal because they see it in their interest. Because what they see is, is this is a massive deterrent. Thousands of people are not going to want to sit around in Mexico waiting for entry to the United States, knowing that their claims will, will almost certainly not be verified and they won't be allowed in. So it's going to kill the whole strategy of the caravan. So you bet I think the Mexicans would be up for it. Now you do. I don't know if you read this, but I did that some of the businesses in Mexico actually have jobs for some of the migrants, saying, yeah, we, we could actually put you to work in some of our, our factories. Um, you know, that's, that's not what they came for, but if that's what they want to do and Mexico wants to accept them, that's Mexico's business. But you know, wait a minute, if that's not what they came for, what do you think they are there for, just to get to the U.S.? I mean, is it to get to the U.S. for a better life, uh, which would be a job there in Mexico uh, instead, or, or help me figure out where you're going with this? Well, see, I think they would think that a, a job in the United States or, or the benefits in the United States are, are far better than Mexico, so Mexico would not be the preferred destination. But remember, an asylum claim is based on credible risk. In other words, that you specifically fear that you and your family's life is in danger. That's not what's going on here. And these aren't even economic migrants. They're not people saying, oh, I can't find a job, so I'm just trying to find a job anywhere. Because they can find jobs in their own country and they can find jobs in Mexico. They think it's just a better deal to come to the United States. And in some cases, it's not their fault because there are human traffickers out there. There are other people out there that are telling them, come to the United States. This has been something that's built up for eight years under Obama, where rather than creating deterrence to illegal migration, essentially we've been pointing the way on how to game the system. So, James, I, I want